this is how you can code an anti-ghost ping system for your discord.js version 14 bot so let's go ahead and get started so before i show you how to do this i'd like to say that you can get the source code from this video and other videos on my channel by either joining my channel memberships on youtube or joining the discord subscriptions over on discord if you get the super god or custom bot tier on youtube you'll get access to that source code and over on discord if you get the god or custom bot tier you will get access to the source code and of course if you get the custom bot tier on any of these platforms me and my team will code you a personalized custom discord bot if you're interested in any of this, go ahead and click the links in the description below to get started with this, and let's go ahead and get started with the video. So the first thing that we actually have to do is we have to go to our schemas.js file, and we have to create two schemas. If you don't have any of this set up already, please watch the MongoDB guide in the description below. So the first thing that you have to do is you have to create ghostpingschema.js, and in here, all you need is a guild ID, so it should look exactly like this in your ghostpingschema.js. After that, you're going to go ahead and create a ghostnumschema.js, and in here, you need a guild ID, a user user string and a number. It should look exactly like this within this file. After creating both of these files, we can go over to moderation and we can go ahead and create anti ghost ping.js. And here we can do const and we're going to get slash command builder. We can get embed builder and get permissions bit field. Then we can do equals require and we're going to get discord.js. Then we can do const ghost schema equals require and we're going to get dot dot slash dot dot slash schemas and we can do slash ghost ping schema. Then we can do const num schema equals require and we're going to get dot dot slash dot dot slash schemas and then we can get our ghost num schema just like that now we can do module dot exports equals we can go ahead and open this up data we'll do new slash command builder we can go ahead and set a name this is going to be anti ghost ping we can go ahead and set a description and in here we can go ahead and say set up the anti ghost ping system we're going to go ahead and start by adding some sub commands so we can do add sub command and we can do command arrow function command dot set name and this is going to be set up and we can do dot set description and we're going to do the same description as above so set up the anti ghost ping system then we can actually go ahead and copy this we're going to add a couple more sub commands so we can do disable and we can change this to disable then we can go ahead and paste it one more time and this is going to be number reset and then in here we're actually going to go ahead and say reset a user's ghost ping count and then we can go ahead and add a user option so add user option option arrow function option dot set name and this is going to be user we can go ahead and say description and we can say the user you want to reset the number of ghost pings of and then we can just go ahead and set required and we're going to make this true then we can go ahead and add a comma we can come down here we're going to do a sync executes we're going to get interaction and we can go ahead and open this up in here we're going to do if no interaction dot member dot permissions dot has we can do permissions bit field dot flags dot administrator we can go ahead and return with interaction dot apply and we can say content and then in here we can say you don't have perms to manage the anti ghost ping system and we can go ahead and make this infernal. Next, we can do const and we're gonna get options. We do equals and we're just gonna get our interaction. And we can do const sub equals options that get sub command. And we can do const data equals await ghost schema dot find one. And we're gonna get our guild. And this is going to be interaction.guild.id. So now we're gonna open up our first sub command. So we can do switch and we're gonna get sub and then we can go ahead and open this up. In here, we're gonna get our case and that is going to be set up. We can add a colon here. We can come down here. We're actually gonna make the command now. So we can say if data, we can return await interaction dot reply and in here we can say content and we can say you already have a anti ghost ping system set up and we can go ahead and make this informal then we can say else and we're going to open this up we can say await ghost schema dot create we can open this up as well in here we're going to get our guild and that is going to be our interaction dot guild id and that's the only property we have to add to that schema so then we can make an embed so we can do const embed equals new embed builder and we can go ahead and say a color and that is going to be blue and then we can say a description and we can do white check mark and we can say the anti ghost ping system has been set up and we can actually send this so we can do await interaction dot reply and we can get embeds and we can pass in our embed just like that so now we can actually come out of this else and we can do break and then we can do our case again and this is going to be disable and we can add another colon we can come down here and we're actually going to make our disable command so we can do if no data and return await interaction dot reply and we can say content and then in here we can go ahead and say there is no anti ghost ping system set up here and we can make this informal and then we can open up an else and we're going to do wait ghost schema dot delete many and we're going to get our guild which will be interaction dot guild dot id now we can actually go ahead and copy this embed because we are going to use it down here we can go ahead and paste it and then instead of this description we're going to go ahead and say the anti ghost ping system has been disabled and we can just go ahead and send this so wait interaction dot reply 
and we can get our embeds and then we can get our embed just like that we're going to do this one more time for our number reset so we can do break and then we're going to do case and this is going to be number reset we can add a semicolon down here we're going to do const member equals options that get user and we're going to get our user then we can do const data lowercase data equals await num schema dot find one and this is going to be guild which will be interaction dot guild dot id and then we can get our user which is going to be member dot id and then we can say if no data we can go ahead and return await interaction dot reply and we can say contents and in here we can say this member doesn't have any ghost pings yet and we can make this informal and we can open up an else right here we're going to do await data that deletes one and this is going to be user and that will be our member dot id and then we can do await interaction dot reply and we're going to say content and then in here we can say member and then we can do s and we can say ghost ping number is back at zero so that's all we have to do for this so now we're actually going to move over into our index.js file so in here we're going to define both of those schemas so we can do const and we're going to get ghost schema then we can do equals require and we're going to get dot slash schema slash ghost ping schema and then we can define our other schema so we can do const num schema equals require and we're going to get dot slash schema slash ghost num schema just like that now we can do our client dot on event and we're going to do events dot message delete and then we can do a Sync message arrow function open this up in here we can do const data equals await ghost schema dot find one and this is going to be our guild which is going to be message dot guild dot id and then we can say if no data we can just return we can say if no message dot author we can just return as well and then we can say if message dot author dot bot will return we can say if no message dot author dot id equals 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 client dot user dot id we're going to return and finally for our if statements we can do if message dot author equals 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 message dot mentions dot users dot first then we can just go ahead and return as well. So now we can come down here and we're going to say if message.mentions.users.first. We can go ahead and open this up. Basically what this is saying is if the deleted message includes a member at all, it doesn't matter where it is, it's going to go ahead and execute the code in here. And what we can do is we can add an or and we can say message.type equals 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 and we can do message type dot reply. So that way if a message reply is deleted, it's going to go ahead and flag that as a ghost ping as well. This is a little bit more risky though because if you go ahead and delete a message reply at all it's going to flag that member for a ghost ping so i would just leave this out but you can add it in if you would like now also keep in mind discord.js and discord in general doesn't actually allow you to see who deleted the message so if you delete somebody's message that has a ping in it technically it's going to flag them for a ghost ping so that's just kind of a flaw in the system but just keep that in mind so we can do let number and we can do let time equals 15 and we can do const data equals num schema dot find one and we're going to get our guild, which is going to be message.guild.id. And we can get our user, which is going to be message.author.id. And we can say if no data, we can open this up. We're going to say await num schema.create. And we can open this up. We're going to say our guild, which is going to be message.guild.id. We can do our user, which is going to be message.author.id. And lastly, we can say our number, which is going to be equal to one. And now down here, we can actually go ahead and set our number variable to one, just like that. Then we can come here and we're going to say else. We can open this up. We're going to go ahead and say data.number, and we're going to do plus equals one, and then we can do await data.save, and then we can do number equals data.number. So then we can come out of these statements, and we're going to go ahead and say if number equals equals two, so then we're going to set our time to 60, and then we're going to do if number is greater than or equal to three, we can set our time to 500. So now what we can do is const msg equals await message.channel.send, we can say content and we can say message dot author and we can do a comma we can say you cannot ghost ping members within this server and then we can set a timeout and we can do this we'll open this up and then we're going to do msg dot delete and then we can do comma and we're going to do 5000 so after five seconds here we're actually going to go ahead and delete this message then we can do const member equals message dot member and we can say if message dot member dot permissions dot has we can do permissions bit field dot flags dot administrator then we can go ahead and open this up we're just going to return and then we're going to say else we can open this up we're going to do wait member dot timeouts and we're going to pass in our time variable multiplied by 1000 and then we can do comma and we're going to set the reason to ghost pinging and then we can do await member dot send and we can say content and we can say you have been timed out in and we can do message dot guild dot name and then we can say for time 
and we can say seconds do to ghost pinging members and then we can go ahead and catch an error so catch error we can open this up and we're just going to return so i'll explain this a little bit so basically what's happening is we're going to set our original time to 15 so if the number of ghost pings that a user has within that guild is less than two then they're going to get timed out for 15 seconds so every time a user ghost pings a member we're going to add one to the number schema so that if it's equal to two then we're going to then time them out for 60 seconds and if it's three or above then we're going to time them out for five minutes which is 300 seconds i'm going to change that to 300 right now then we actually go ahead and send that message and we delete that after five seconds and then basically right here we're just checking to see if the member that ghost pinged has admin because the bot cannot time out anyone with admin perms and then if they don't we just go ahead and time them out for the time based off of how many ghost ping numbers they actually have within their schema and then we just go ahead and send them that message saying that they have been timed out and we catch an error just in case they have their dms off all right so one more thing before we actually go ahead and restart the bot is right here i have to do a wait num schema dot find one i just forgot that so make sure you add that so after doing that we can go ahead and save this file and restart the bot all right so over in our discord server we can go ahead and set this up by doing slash anti and we can do ghost ping and we can just go ahead and choose our setup so as you can see it's going to go ahead and set that up in our server so now if i go ahead and ghost ping myself here and go ahead and delete the message nothing's going to happen because it's not going to allow me to ghost ping myself so then if i were to go ahead and ping me on an alt account and delete it on the alt account as you can see it's going to go ahead and say you cannot ghost ping members within this server it's also going to go ahead and time this user out as you can see here as well so now that the timeout's over if i go ahead and do this again ghost ping myself and i go ahead and delete it here as you can see it's going to do the exact same thing and as you can see here now the timeout is at one minute instead of 15 seconds because now the number has gone up so I can just go ahead and remove this timeout and test it out again. So this time I'm just going to go ahead and send a couple of characters and I'll ping and then I'll send a couple more characters as you can see here. And then if I go ahead and delete it, as you can see, it's going to say you cannot ghost ping members within this server. And if we go ahead and choose it, now it's going to be at four minutes and 51 seconds, basically five minutes. So now we can go ahead and do our anti ghost ping number reset and we can choose our moderated nickname or the alt account. And as you can see, it's going to say their number is back at zero. I forgot to make that infernal, so feel free to do that if you want. Um, but now we can go ahead and actually try to ghost ping myself again. And we can just go ahead and delete it. As you can see, it's going to go ahead and warn that member. And as you can see here, now the time is back at 15 seconds. Now we can go ahead and actually anti ghost ping disable for this server. And now if I were to ghost ping myself on this account, as you can see here, nothing is going to happen. So that's how you can make an anti ghost ping system for your discord.js version 14 bot. If if you need any help with this go ahead and join the server in the description below and just go ahead and join anyways because it's a pretty good coding community and with that i'll see you guys in the next video